Thank you very much. I'm going to talk very briefly about uh, the ASSP research that is being done into sustainable intensification. Uh, sustainable intensification can be defined in many ways. We have one here, but the core of it really is to increase the efficiency of agricultural systems that we work with, whether they're crop-based, livestock-based, or more commonly in smallholder systems uh, based around uh, both components working together. We have a number of projects that are working on sustainable intensification related issues. We have the Africa Rising projects in uh, Ethiopian highlands, also in East Africa and West Africa, Zim Cliffs in Zimbabwe, and also the Lives Project in Ethiopia. The main uh, question that we're asking in all these projects in relation to sustainable intensification is how can these systems evolve to be more productive without compromising sustainability? Uh, so what are you, what's unique about these projects? Well, they have to have a whole systems focus as trade-offs and synergies amongst the different components of the system have not just have implications for sustainability, but lie right at the heart of whether systems tend to be sustainable or not. They need to be multidisciplinary because we don't just have crops, we don't just have livestock in these systems, uh, and they have to be collaborative, uh, which in the new CG system is a, an opportunity that we have to address very strongly, I believe. Some brief pictures illustrating some of the SI research that we're doing. These are all taken from Africa Rising. Uh, unintended consequences. The trial in the picture on the left looks at the intensification of uh, faba bean system. The, 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 the package generally includes uh, varieties, management practices and inputs. But uh, under farmer practices, many of these crops are left to produce weeds that are harvested for fodder production. So this trial is looking at a more integrated approach to intensifying the system that doesn't exclude uh, the forage component. There's no point producing more if we just end up wasting it. So we have research into improved storage methods for the crops that are produced. And scale issues are also very important in SI. Uh, we can come up with innovations that are sustainable at the household level, but when we scale them up across a landscape, uh, often there are adverse implications at landscape scale, so we can't just look at one scale. I was asked to consider opportunities for collaboration. Uh, Africa Rising already has eight CG collaborators and more than 20 national partners, so we have collaboration coming out of our ears. There are many positive aspects to this in meeting the particular needs of sustainable intensification related research, but obviously there are many challenges. Um, but I've tried to list some of the things that, um, that this collaboration is delivering. Uh, and I think we one of the great achievements, I think, of Africa Rising is that we have multiple centres and multiple national partners actually working together as research teams. We not don't have a, an ILRI component, a SEAT component, an ICRASAT component. We have research teams that are made up of researchers from many centres and many national partners. And I think this is a, a, a great move in a positive direction. So as I have no more time, I will finish there. Thank you very much.